Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So today is a pretty unique TBR. First of all, I want to ask, how are you all doing? How are things by you? Um, here in Wisconsin, we, both my husband and I are working from home. Thankfully, we have jobs that we are allowed to work from home, so that's been awesome. School has been off for about a week. We had three days of homeschooling slash both of us working. It was interesting. And then this next week, my kids are technically on spring break. But we're still home, so I'm gonna probably keep having them kind of keep up somewhat of a routine. Um, but we are doing really good. Um, I have an abundance of things to keep me occupied. Thankfully, we have some decent weather days coming up where we can still be outside. But this whole social distancing thing is definitely new for us. We are very social people who are t who are usually out and about. But I'm not going to lie, rocking the mom bun and the t-shirts and yoga pants every day. Loving. So thinking about the fact that we're probably going to be at home a lot over the next... Well, I'm working from home until the end of April is what I've been told. Um, these guys are home... Our schools are closed indefinitely, whatever that means. I don't know what's coming. I don't know what to think. Things change so fast. Um, and Stormy is, of course, here. Um, that I'm just going to take it today, every day, you know, one day at a time and see what happens. So um, I do, I, I have found myself kind of taking a look at my books at a variety of locations and thinking, that would be a really good book to read right now. That would be a really good book to read right now. So I have established my social distancing, aka quarantine TBR. Okay, so here are the books that I've been pulling kind of lately. No, some of them have explanations, some of them don't. So let's just go through them and I'll show you what I'm kind of thinking. First book I thought of right away was The Last by Hannah Jameson. This follows a character who is stuck kind of inside of this hotel um, after a nuclear attack basically devastated the population. So 200,000 people died is what some ex estimates are saying. Um, and they're just kind of stuck there for a while. And then two months into this little quarantine maybe um 20 survivors remain and they find someone i believe dead on the roof so they start investigating what happened there but first of all it's a beautiful cover i bought this in dc last year when my husband and i went there um and the chapters are like journalish so they're only a couple of pages so it should go quick all right, the next one I was going to pick up is just something lighthearted and, I don't know, easy. I, I don't know. But The Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez. Jimenez? Jimenez? I don't know. Um, a friend of mine read this not that long ago and, like, was raving over it. It sounds kind of just easy, contemporary romance book. But um, it follows our main character, Kristen Peterson. Oh, Stormy. If you can hear that, that's the cat. Um, she doesn't do drama. She will fight to the death for her friends and has no room in her life for guys who just don't get her. She's also keeping a big secret, facing a medically necessary procedure that will make it impossible for her to have children. Planning her best friend's wedding is bittersweet for Kristen, especially when she meets the best man, Josh. He's funny, sexy, never over offended on, by her mild-wise streak of sarcasm, which I love. Um, and always one chicken enchilada had a, of her hangry. Even her dog adores him. The only catch, Josh wants a big family someday. Kristen knows he'd be better off with someone else, but as their attraction grows, it's harder and harder keep, to keep him at arm's length. So I'm going to go with that one. Next one I really want to pick up is Lumine, um by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. It is a sci-fi adventure told in a very unique way um so it feels kind of appropriate plus it is a book club pick i think for may i doubt we'll have any book clubs in april but i'm still gonna read the books 
The next project I kind of want to take on is I want to read these two books at the same time. So we have The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek by Kim Michelle Richardson, and I have Jojo Moyes, The Giver of, the, of Stars. So these both follow um, the Kentucky Pack Horse Library Project. So these women have libraries basically that they go house to house and deliver books. And so it's the same story. I have heard varying reviews as far as which one is better. So I kind of want to read them at the same time or at least close enough together that I can do a little comparison on it. And I may do a vlog for that one. We'll see. The next one I want to pick up because I really want the new book by Sarah J Maas. And I may have just ordered it today because I went to Target and it wasn't there. So hopefully Amazon's still delivering, but I still haven't finished Throne of Glass series. So I'm on Emperor of Storms. Um, this is the, oh, what number book is this? I mean, I'm pretty far into it. One, two, three, four. This is the fifth book um, in the series. And I think there's what, seven? So there's two after this. Um, so this follows our main character, Selena Sardothian. She is the kind of um assassin to the king and there's this whole thing going on and I'm not going to spoil anything because it's the fifth book I can't tell you what it's about um but I really want to keep going with this series because I'm getting her new one so um I do need to do a, a quick brush up on Queen of Shadows which comes right before this because I read that quite a while ago I don't think I remember enough so I gotta do that the next one I want to pick up um actually there's a couple where's my other one up here so the next few I kind of want to pick up are just based on authors. Um, Simone St. James I've been loving as well as Jennifer McMahon. I have a couple more of their books. So I kind of want to keep going with those just because they've been really quick books for me lately and I'm loving them. So we've got The Haunting of Maddie Claire. This one takes place in 1920s in England and we have Don't Breathe a Word. I don't like knowing things going into these books. I'm better off not. I think I have a better experience with the book, so I can't tell you anything about them. But those are on, on deck. Then I have a newer one that I just got not that long ago from a friend of mine. This is Dear Haiti, Love Elaine. Um, this, I think, is YA. And it follows a girl who finds herself suspended from school. And she's kind of shipped off to Haiti as part of a spring volunteer immersion project and we kind of go from there i like it's told a little i gotta find there's just different it's written a little different you have oh come on of course different i don't know just there's text messages there's emails it's kind of an interesting way that's put together so i'm excited for that um a couple more i picked up just because i've been perusing my shelves a little bit and i'm as much as the color, the rainbow color kind of threw me off because I'm having a hard time finding specific books I'm looking for, I'm also coming across books that I haven't like, haven't caught my eye in a little bit. So I'm in this like backlist determination to pick up books I've had for a while. And one of them is The Girl Who Came Home um, by Hazel Gaynor. This is um, about the Titanic. So looks like dual timelines as well. So we have Ireland, Ireland 1912 and Chicago 1982. Oh, look at this, you guys. All right, I'm more excited about that. And then I have Abandon by Blake Crouch. Blake Crouch wrote Dark Matter and I loved it. I'm not a huge sci-fi reader and he has definitely got me more into it. So we have this one. This is um, Christmas Day, 1893. Every man, woman, and child in a gold mining town has disappeared. Belongings were left behind. Meals were left in the freezer. There was, it's like they just disappeared. Um, not a single bone was ever found. Nothing really, they couldn't figure out what happened. Now, 116 years later, two guides are hired by a history professor and his journalist daughter to lead them to this abandoned mining town so they can learn what happened. Recently, recently, a similar party had also attempted to explore the town and was never heard from again. Now the area is believed to be haunted, and this crew um, is about to discover 20 miles from civilian with a blizzard bearing down that they are not alone and the past is very much alive. So, um, very interested in this. Blake Crouch, I don't know, he just, he got me, he had me hooked on the other one. So I'm super excited about that book as well. So. There's kind of my ever-growing um, self-quarantine 
social distancing, TBR pile, whatever you want to call it. Um, I am excited to get to more books. I have been finding myself reading more. It helps me um, kind of escape a little bit. It is my a bit of my coping me coping me mechanism. So um, if it is for you as well, I um, highly encourage you to keep reading. There's a lot of really cool offers out there right now. I think Scribd is having it where you can get it for a month or two for free. Kindle Unlimited is free for, um, I think, Amazon Prime members for the next month. There's, of course, the Libby app, the Hoopla app. Um, there is there is a number of ways to still be able to read, even though I know our library is closed. I'm assuming the, a lot of different libraries are closed or close to being closed. Um, I also stocked up our free little library in our neighborhood not that long ago and kind of sent out a message saying that there's books in there if anybody needs it. Um, so I've done, I did that about a week ago. Um, so those are also options, but definitely do what you need to do. Make sure you are taking care of yourself during this. Um, and reach out to me if you want to chat and talk about books. Absolutely. I'm always around for that. So let me know kind of what your plans are, how you are doing. Please comment below. I want to chat. Otherwise, like, subscribe, all of that fun stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye.